hi all in today's video we are going to check how we can uh, reflect the transactions uh, that are happening inside the point of sale in the uh, like uh, the transactions including uh, bank types means credit card debit card uh, those type of bank transactions can ref can be reflected in the actual bank accounts instead of the outstanding uh, receipts so here you can see uh, i have opened uh, four uh, uh, different uh, tabs one is uh, uh, point of sale then payment methods then accounting uh, journals then accounting general uh, general ledger report so uh, first i will show you the default workflow for do so before we are going to that i will show you uh, uh, this is a, a bank type uh, payment method so here we already selected a journal as bank and outstanding account and intermediary account uh, it's empty when we are coming to the journal so you can see there is a bank account and inside this bank account you can see uh, i already configured the outstanding receipts uh, uh, account as bank and for outgoing also it's configured the same and on the journal entries you will see these are the default configurations so from here we are going to do a sales in the system now so i'm just opening a new session so when we open a new session uh, what are the items uh, what we mean with it so that you activated for this particular session that will load and we will see the products also so for now okay this is a uh, opening cash i'm just uh, keeping it as a default okay so it's a 3828 that's my opening balance i can see uh, this uh, one product is there so i am selecting that product and uh, i'm going to click on this uh, pay button so once i click on that pay button first time doing the transaction with the cash i'm confirming that record so cash is done then again the same product i am uh, doing the payment with the bank okay so two transactions are done one is with the cash and one is with the uh, bank i'm closing the session so you can see this is a total closing balance so 7656 then closing the session so once i close the session i'm going to show you the uh, odoo general ledger report so once you close the session uh, the general entries will be posted so i'm coming here and just show, uh, checking that uh, general ledger so once i check that you can see on your my stock account uh, of course two transactions done so that uh, records will show here stock interim account and uh, my debtors control account also will be showing here okay so we are going to uh, check only two accounts uh, in this case it's a uh, cash and uh, bank okay so you can see the bank transaction will reflect on our outstanding receipts but the cash transaction will directly reflect on uh, on the accounts so you can see here so instead of actually we, we did it as a bank transaction so i want to reflect that amount directly on bank so currently uh, the option is to uh, uh, do the reconciliation like if you want to reflect this outstanding receipts on your account then you can open uh, your uh, uh, dashboard from here you can create a new Uh, a statement on bank and you can do the reconciliation so that amount will reflect on your bank but we are going to check a different approach in this case so what i am doing is i am coming to point of sale configuration payment methods open that payment method and uh, here i am directly selecting that uh, bank account okay here you can see it's a bank account and see your outstanding account as bank then i am opening the session uh, the point of sale session once again so open the session then uh, we can do one more uh, uh, transaction okay i'm just uh, opening one session doing one transaction this time i'm only doing with the bank just close the session or uh, confirm the payment and close the session so this is my closing balance 7656 close the session so once you close the session uh, the journal entries will be posted to the system so i'm going back to the general ledger accounting reporting general ledger report so now we can see the amount directly reflected on your bank account so if you are configuring the outstanding account inside your payment method in the um, uh, point of sale whenever you are closing the session automatically whatever the account you selected to that account the amount will be Uh, uh reflected without doing the accounting reconciliation or bank statement reconciliation it will uh, directly reflect on your bank account 